In terms of choosing a treatment for psoriasis management, I think for NPs and PAs as well as patients, it seems like it's an ever confusing field. Uh, partly is because of the amount of uh, options that we have available. I think there are a few key things that all of us can try to gather from the data in order to make sure that we choose an optimal treatment for that particular patient. So as MPPAs caring for psoriasis patients, I think number one is that it's very important to know the clinical data and make sure that the decision is based on evidence-based medicine. When we look at treatment efficacy and treatment safety, those are things that need to be considered in concert together. I think that for psoriasis, treatment safety is especially important because it's a disease that's chronic and therefore choosing a therapy with the mindset of how long the patient needs to be on this therapy is very important. So long-term safety is obviously very important, but also, uh, also making sure that the patient is treated on an effective therapy that can act quickly is ideal. Two other things to consider are, number one, patient's comorbidities that will oftentimes drive the initial treatment selection. So for psoriasis patients, the presence or the absence of psoriatic arthritis is actually the first decision-making point that the clinician needs to distinguish before selecting a treatment. This is because if a patient has psoriatic arthritis and has even just a small patch of psoriasis, the choice of psoriasis treatment will actually be dependent on the patient having psoriatic arthritis first. So uh, consideration of comorbidities is very important. And number two is patient preferences. Some patients may prefer oral medications. Other patients may prefer having highly efficacious biologics that's injectable. So understanding that is highly important because ignoring that you can prescribe a drug that you think is best for the patient, but if the patient is not taking the drug, then ultimately it's going to be futile. So I would say balancing the safety, especially long-term safety with efficacy and consideration of patients' comorbidities as well as their preferences and having an active dialogue with the patient will ultimately lead to a best treatment option for that particular patient.